DNC head Tom Perez gave a speech in New Jersey that's getting a lot of press. Let's take a look at the portion here that has everybody going wild. Important day in this country, but January 21st was far more important. why we support H.R. 676. It's the Medicare for All bill that Representative John Conyers has put forward because we want to, to make this country like all the other modern countries when it comes to health care, cover everybody for a better price. We don't want you to go bankrupt for uh, because of medical bills. Did he say that? Oh, he didn't say that part. That's weird. So everybody's like, oh my god, oh, he said the Republicans don't give a shit about people when it comes to health care. Oh, he said they don't give a shit about people. He cursed him. This is the same kind of vacuous nonsense that drives me nuts. We will resist as we're going to resist. Resistance is good and resistance is key. And Vladimir Putin is bad. I'm for good things and I'm against bad things. And we're going to lead with our values. And then we got to, they don't care about people. They don't care. They don't give a shit about people. His health care bill is bad. Their health I understand that you think their health care bill is bad. Debbie Wasserman Schultz think their health care bill is bad. You know what? You're right about that. But what are you going to do? What are you going to fight for? We resist is not enough. That's not enough. People go, that's nice. So you're against the utter implosion of our health care system. How progressive. You're against something that's a $600 billion tax cut to the top 1%. You're against something that would make 53 million people uninsured. You're against something that guts Medi Medicaid $880 billion. You're against something that raises the uninsured rate from 10% to 19%. That's easy. But what are you defending? You're defending Obamacare. 28 million people uninsured. That's what it's going to be. 28 million people under Obamacare. You're defending a system that still has medical bankruptcies. Why are you defending that system? You're defending rising premiums. Why are you defending that? It'd be one thing if you defend it and say, but here's the end goal, Medicare for all. You don't even do that. See, that's the problem. People, you're, they look at you like you're full of shit because you're full of shit. It's so easy. I'm against, I'm against this. I'm against bad things. I'm against things that are really bad. Okay. And then, and be specific. Don't give me this bullshit. He does go on to his credit to go as a health care is a right, not a privilege. But then he doesn't go on to say we support Medicare for all H.R. 676. We say it, say it, say it. But they're not going to say it because they don't believe it. Because even in the House, over 100 Democrats don't support Medicare for all. It's up right now, guys. They can sign on to the bill right now. Hun over 100 don't support it. Only about 80 support it. Now, Justice Democrats and the National Nurses Union, National Nurses United, and uh, brand new Congress, we, meaning you guys, flipped 10 Congress people because of the pressure you put on them and the petition that you signed. But we need more. If over 100 Democrats are still not supporting Medicare for all when it's up right now, then spare me your fucking shitty work of for good things and against bad things and resistance is good and Putin's bad and yeah, just vague platitudes and cliches. You're doing the same Hillary Clinton trick that, you know, screwed her over because it was clear she all she had was platitudes and cliches. She didn't have hardcore policy substance to make people's lives better. So they went, that smells like bullshit. I'm leaving. So give me a break, man. As he stacks the DNC with Hillary, Hillary Clinton um, staffers, 
So the people who just lost to Trump, he's like, great, let me all give you all a job in the DNC. This is the last people you should hire. They just proved they can't even beat Trump, which was a layup election. He's like, let me hire you to be in the DNC. As you're doing that, you're out there, resist, we will resist by hiring the people who suck at it and don't know how to do it and lost him in the first place. I, I, and again, that gets headlines. Republican health, uh, the Republican health care plan is bad and they don't give a shit about people. Wow, Tom, thanks for catching up to what we fucking knew in the year 1980. Wonderful. Tell me what you're for. I don't care what you're against. It's, ob it's easy and obvious. Oh, yeah, they're bad. Great. What are you for? Medicare for all. Say it. Say it. You're not going to say it. Say end the seven wars right now. Bring home the troops. Are you going to say that? Are you going to be the anti-war party? You're not going to say it. Even when, when Trump increases military spending $54 billion, even when he increases drone strikes 432%, even when he adds 1,000 ground troops to Syria, even when he looks like he's going to increase in Afghanistan too, are the Democrats saying, this is outrageous. We don't, not only do we, should we not add 54 billion to the military, we should cut way more. We should cut spending at least 35%. We had a military industrial complex, over 50% of your discretionary budget goes to the military. The Democrats aren't saying anything about that. They're not opposing Trump on the military. They're not opposing him on things that actually matter and pushing for, for uh, other policy goals or correcting the direction of the country. They're not doing it. Yeah, we're, shh, don't talk about that. Don't even talk about his deregulation. Don't talk about the coal polluting the waterways. Don't talk about the fact he raised tax on the middle class. Don't talk about the fact he's appointing Goldman Sachs. Because when we're in there, we kind of want to do that too. JusticeDemocrats.com. No more of this garbage. This corporate democratic nonsense. Did you know Tom Perez supports uh, TPP? The head of the DNC. When a populist right candidate won the election, now the head of the DNC is a supporter of TPP. You, it's like a, it's like a comedy sketch where we were watching everything go wrong. We have the antidote to defeat the monstrous guy on the right, and they just refuse to listen. JusticeDemocrats.com. Go there right now.